Hi, I'm Charles Carter with Case H. Today we want to talk about the active hydraulic downforce available on the 2000 series early riser planters. The first thing we want to talk about with it is the fact it is an active system. This gives us the ability to set a target downforce across the entire planter with each row having its own hydraulic cylinder applying both up and down pressure to maintain that target that we need across the planter to ensure that we get even seed depth across multiple soil types even while we're in the same planter pass. One thing to keep in mind with this and we always have to think about is what is our applied force versus what is our gauge wheel force. We're measuring our gauge wheel force which is the amount of weight being carried on the reduced inner diameter gauge wheels of the planter while our applied force is the amount of force that we're actually using to hit that targeted weight on the gauge wheels. Sometimes we may actually not be applying downforce, but with that hydraulic cylinder lifting up when we get into some of our lighter soil types. So when we start setting up to run our active hydraulic downforce, the first thing we want to do is ensure that all of our load cells are calibrated or zeroed so we're getting accurate feedback across the entire planter. We're going to go into calibrations, select our calibration type, row unit load cells, and then select zero all. That is going to return all of the load cells to a zeroed state, ensuring that you're getting correct feedback off of each one. The load cell that we're using right here is actually part of our single point depth control on the row unit as that row unit sinks in, it's truly pulling on this so we have a very accurate representation of what's being carried on those gauge wheels. There's multiple options on how you want to set up your run screens with user-defined windows. This is just one example of how you can have it set. For other examples, please consult either your productivity guide available at planter clinics or from your local Case IH dealer or your operator's manual. So when we go in and start running our hydraulic downforce, the first thing we want to do is ensure that our wing downforce is turned on. Having that on helps distribute the weight of the planter, your seed, your liquid across the bar more evenly. Once you have your wing downforce control turned on, you can always go in under the info tab and look at your settings and see how much wing downforce you need to have applied based on your target for your individual row units. Having these numbers matched together will ensure optimum performance of your hydraulic downforce system. Next thing we want to look at is our downforce control. How do we want to set that? Typically we start off in standard. That's going to be carrying a hundred pounds of weight on your gauge wheels. If you're in some lighter soil types or some conventional tillage, you may want to start in the light position, which is going to carry 50 pounds on our gauge wheels. If you're in a no-till situation or extremely heavy soil types, we can always go to that heavy setting at 150 pounds. Now, once we've set that, if we find we're not getting either our good ride or our seed isn't getting to the depth we need, we can always go in here and select our custom option, at which point we can go in and adjust so if we go from 150 to say 145 and really fine tune that hydraulic downforce to where it's putting that seed exactly where it needs to be on each row regardless of soil type every time. Another place to look at on this is our downforce summary. Ground contact is one that's extremely important. This is letting us know how much of the time the gauge wheels are making contact carrying that desired downforce. We can also look at gauge wheel force, our net applied force, and this allows you to scroll through and look at individual rows, high row, low row, and average. So a lot of information is available right there. We also have our graph at the top for just a quick, what do I have going on? A lot of times if you've got, for example, row five is above or below your target line on the graph, you can go back to your downforce summary, zoom in on row five and see exactly how it's doing, how it's performing. If you have additional questions on your hydraulic downforce available, 
please consult either your operator's manual or contact your local Case IH dealer.